it's Tony Zaza. Welcome back to my kitchen for another Foodie Friday. And just in time for the weekend of football, whether you're a college fan or a pro fan, these are going to be scrumptious deep fried chicken wings. Mm -hmm. On the big green egg, so you're going to need to walk. We're going to do it on direct heat. But I'm telling you, these things are absolutely incredible. And a secret I was unaware of when it comes to chicken wings that all the wing houses use, and for those of us who weren't in on the secret, you've probably tried putting the sauce on before and like, why is it just dripping off my wings? We'll address that problem as well in this episode. So if you're ready, let's go. Let's take a look at the ingredients we're gonna use on these delicious deep fried chicken wings. You're gonna want some butter, and I'll get to that here a little later on. Kerrygold is my favorite. You can look for it in stores, but hands down the best butter on the market. Also, you're gonna want a wok for whatever type of cooker you're using. We're gonna use it on direct heat, so a wok of whatever sorts is perfect. And we've got peanut oil, which we're gonna deep fry the chicken wings in. This is awesome. It's one-legged chicken buffalo sauce. This is from Lane's Barbecue. I picked this up at Wassie's. I'll also leave a link to Lane's Barbecue and Wassie's because you can order this on Wassie's website and have it delivered right to your house. We're going to finish it off with a great dipping sauce. Again, another product from Lane's Barbecue. It's called Sorta White. This is awesome. Available at Wassies or on Lane's website. And then this is only available at Wassies here in Melbourne, but you can order it off their website and 100% of the proceeds go to Candle Lighters of Brevard. This is from Pork U. Pork U does incredible stuff, but this is to help benefit families whose children have been diagnosed with cancer. And again, 100% of all sales from this seasoning goes to benefit Candlelighters of Brevard. Uh, Crisby stick, this is what you season your, you can do your wok or any other type of cast iron uh, materials you might have, it's perfect for that. We're gonna get the big green eggs set up, ready to go, 350 degrees is what we're looking for. We'll put our oil in our wok, we want that at 350, and then the magic begins. So while we're waiting on the big green egg to warm up and then to get our wok and our oil heated up, we're gonna go ahead and season all of our chicken wings. Again, we're using the pork you. It's called Chicken Burgers and Fries, oh my, and 100% of the proceeds go to Candlelighters of Brevard. But we're gonna go ahead and season these bad boys in their bags. And I've just got gallon bags. I'm gonna cook these in 10 wing increments because if you do any more than that, the cold wings take down the temp of the oil so fast, it would take forever to cook them otherwise. And the way we're doing it, it's gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes because we're gonna cook them to an internal temp of about 180 to 190. So you just put that in there, shake them up, and we're gonna let them sit while the egg warms up. And then once we're at temp on the egg, we'll throw these in and get the deep frying going. Now that we've got the egg fired up, we wanna get that to about a 350 degree temp. In the meantime, you're gonna pour your peanut oil into your wok and you want it about a third. And I always recommend doing it before it goes in because you don't want oil to hit any potential flame. So we're gonna put this at about a third full, maybe a little more than that. And that should be good right there. And then the temp's looking good on that. So we'll go ahead and set this in carefully. And just kind of let it naturally do its thing. And check the oil, because we want the oil to be back at 350 degrees as well before we put our chicken wings in there. So we're getting close. So once we got the egg temp up about where we want it and the oil's rolling, we're going to go ahead and put our wings in the oil and you're going to cook them in there for about 10 to 15 minutes. You want a nice internal temp of 180 to 190 degrees. So let's see how this works out.
All right, they're all submerged in, and let's go ahead and shut this, keep that flame down, and we'll check back in about 10 or 15 minutes. So once they've reached an internal temp of about 180, 190 degrees, that's at about eh, 10, 15 minutes at about 350. They're ready to come off, and then the next step, the big secret in wings coming up here in just a second. Let's pull these bad boys off. Oh yeah, look at those. These look incredible. So now we're gonna toss our wings and the big secret in all of this is two parts melted butter to one part wing sauce. So we've got this at about a third, so we're gonna go up. And do one part of the wing sauce. The wings are going to go into the tossing bowl. Mix the wing sauce and the butter up. Pour it in. Those bad boys look incredible. And now we'll plate them and serve. These look incredible and smell even better. I wish there was a scratch and sniff on your screen. Unfortunately, there's not. And then you want to take Lane's sort of white sauce. And this is going to be your dipping sauce. And then just a little drizzle over the top of these beauties. And you're ready to serve. So now the real test, we'll take a bite of it. Cooked beautifully inside, absolutely delicious. I'm gonna put a link to all of the different products and Wasis down below in the description. If you have comments or if you have recommendations on things that you'd like to see cooked on the Big Green Egg, feel free to comment below. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it. We'll see you next Friday for another edition of Foodie Fridays. Have a good weekend.